Hi. In this section, we will explore the topic of citizens and air quality in Kampala, Uganda. In Sub-Saharan Africa, 79% of the population relies on biomass as an energy source. Charcoal is by far the most common source of cooking. Its use have, has destructive consequences, such as deforestation in the peri-urban and rural areas, but also health problems because of the air pollution that is associated with the use of charcoal for indoor cooking. For decades, there have been many community-based organizations and NGOs in sub-Saharan cities that advocate cleaner cooking fuels, stoves and practices. But the uptake of such innovations remains limited. Improved cooking stoves have not significantly replaced traditional st stoves. And other sources of energy, such as electricity, kerosene, gas or solar power, have not been able to replace charcoal. The marginal success of these organizations show how persistent the problem is for health and air quality in man for many ci citizens in sub-Saharan Africa. In this part of the MOOC, we zoom in on Kampala and in particular on the slum areas where infrastructures for gas and electricity are hardly available or affordable for people. There are places in Kampala, as in other sub-Saharan cities, where th these infrastructures are readily available to the rich part of the population but large parts of the urban population live under poorer conditions. For them, charcoal cooking is the most common way to cook. It's a daily practice. First, we will look, we will look at Kampala from a natural science perspective and from the general level of cities and households, two households. We will see how charcoal cooking is affecting people's health and it is as it is burned in and around their houses. We then continue by addressing the topic from a social scientific perspective. We will explore how citizens actually deal with charcoal and its pollu polluting effects in their everyday life, and then zoom in on NGOs and CBOs that work on improved cooking stoves. By looking at the socio-technical and political context of charcoal cooking, we will find some of the reasons why many of the alternative cooking stove projects have been of limited uh, success. Cooking on charcoal is a well-established and cherished routine in Ugandan food culture, even though its negative consequences are recognized by most stakeholders. It turns out to be very difficult to change the practice of cooking with charcoal. We will explore the cooking practice in detail and show why knowledge of the local situation and a view on co-creation by the women who do the cooking are key to understanding the possibilities for change. Finally, we will explore some of the co-creation in initiatives where citizens and NGOs work together on innovative cooking practices and technologies in Kampala. Co-creation, in this sense, is promising as a way to come to innovations that better take into account the dynamics of cooking and all that is connected to it. Solutions that may fit better into everyday lives of Kampala citizens.